Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to the invasion. Now, off to the hot boot. So I recently learned that, uh, Boom Boom dropping a, uh, question block, or orb, when you defeat them, when you defeat all the Boom Booms in an area, turns out that's apparently a thing you can just tell it, tell Boom Boom to do, rather than, uh, having to do with hidden layers. Also, heard from someone who played through this episode recently that, uh, it's gonna get pretty brutal due to the lack of checkpoints. So that's what's called the hot boot, and it has just regular boots. Which means I won't be expected to, uh, Take a red boot from one level into another. So, yeah, getting the shoe is optional, but you are absolutely expected to do this. They even give you more shoe later on, in case you missed the first one, or, uh... Or my brain draws a blank. You missed the first one, or you got hit. Although, again... What, what am I talking about again? Although it's not mandatory, it is expected, if that makes sense. Okay. And there's a level exit. Hooray! Alright, off to the next level. The Desert Maze. Question. Is this water real? No. That turtle did not even slow down when it hit the water. Huh. Now I have a question. Perhaps this question's already been answered. And I'm just not remembering it. Something something water. Can you do the water without? Formulating the question in language. Why am I having trouble with this? Come on, brain. This shouldn't be hard. The water. Can you? make water in this episode in the version of this episode was built on hmm. oh oh what where did that come from I thought I got all the enemies around here. So yeah, the question. Can you draw boxes for water in this episode? And, uh... Have water show up in the middle of a level? Or does water need to be its own section? entire underwater section. I am sure that I have already played a level that answers this question, but I cannot remember it. And I am reasonably certain that the answer is yes, this level is just lazy with drawing the water, but not uh, actually putting it into practice.
Okay, so this level does have a keyhole exit, which may or may not be a secret exit. Okay, yeah, definitely a secret exit. So this level has a secret exit, and I need to figure out how to get to it. Alright. I'm not sure if I said this before, but, uh, something something. And now I can't figure out what it was I was going to say. Oh, yeah! The epic quest by, uh, Unknown68D. For the most part, it's a really good time. And if Unknown68D can uh, harness that for future episodes. I look forward to playing anything else that Unknown68D might make. Right. Especially if they can iron out whatever they did with uh, the later worlds. Well, no, they told me what they did with the later worlds. They experienced a rut for a while, and then came back and made the later worlds after that. And they were trying really hard to make a very uh, visually exciting grand... Visually exciting wasn't the word that they used, but that's how I interpreted it. Grand finale. If Unknown 68D can uh, hold back on their worst level making instincts, which is an issue I have with my own levels. I need to learn to do that, to hold, to control my worst level making instincts. They can make some really fun episodes. Hmm. Now, I remember in the Invasion 2, the secret exit was attained by a pipe in the middle of the maze somewhere. I think it was still on the ground in the middle of the maze somewhere. Okay, yeah. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so as far as I can tell, there's no secret here, and I cannot turn back. Okay. So I'm going to try and find a pipe in the middle of the maze somewhere. Crunch. Hop. Hop. Crunch. Hop. When I was a kid and got little activity books, my favorite activities were always the mazes. To the point that my parents started buying me books that were exclusively mazes, and I loved them. Okay, so, is there something down there that's visible that I might want? The Goombas. Did I already go down here? Hmm. Hard to know whether I've explored. Well, clearly I haven't explored the whole maze yet because of the uh, secret exit that I haven't found yet. Very highly visible key, bit of orange pipe, but it's not past here, unless it has to be reached by flying past here. No! Ooh, that was my bad. I wish that a pipe would also let me return.
Alright, so... I remember Super Mario 64. When it came out, I... My family couldn't afford a Nintendo 64. But I was able to rent it multiple times. The thing is, this was during my era of playing games where I was too afraid of getting killed to actually play any of the levels. Especially since the version that I rented had a... It was... It had a save file, the only save file on it, that already had 120 stars. And I was like, wow. If I die in this, it'll be deleted and gone forever. I don't know why I thought that. There was nothing that indicated. I I had never played a roguelike game, which are games that do work. Well, yeah, you know what a roguelike is, right? If you if you're watching this channel, not that I play a lot of roguelikes, but you know the fact that you have the ability to watch this. Anyway, I'm. I'm losing track of it. I don't know why I thought all video games would work like that. I had never played any video games that worked like that. Okay, so... Crunch, crunch. Oh, really? I was relying on that shoe to get me back up there so I could try and take flight around here. Okay, so... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, not quite. Oh. Really? Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Okay, is there something up around here that I want to interact with? No. Hmm. Well, then. Well, I took a hit, but I'm not going to be able to fly or get up past that without flight. guess the thing to do is just clear the level again. Hmm. Not sure what to make of this. Where could the secret exit be? All right, I thought I was going to have another day where I played three or four levels. But instead, I'm playing one level over and over again, trying to find the secret exit. this and get it out of the way. Okay. I can double leaf again. Ah. Mm, that's not it. Alright, sorry about that. I had to turn off the... Uh, alarm. 
Okay, so... So this is as high as the screen goes. I've already been through here, right? Yeah, I remember taking a hit just to get out here. Likely there's layer manipulation going on here, so I'm gonna run off in this direction and then turn back, take light. three had secrets hidden like that, but that still doesn't feel like a very fair secret. Good ship lifestyle. Oh, okay. So, there's two fire flowers here, a bunch of coins, and a shoe. And that's what's on the good ship lifestyle. I guess join me next time when I delve into the pyramid. <laughs>